There's a man in here. I want to talk to the man. Hello, man. I can't talk to the man. I'm just going to click on him and I'll walk my way over. It's all about money, you know? You got to spend money and make money. Money is what really matters. They say money can't buy you happiness. But that just means you don't got to have, have enough money. You need to... Is this just a crypto bro? Did they just grab a crypto bro? You can buy stocks with money. And then use those stocks to make even more money. That way you'll have enough when you grow too old to make new money. Real estate is the graveyard where tired old money goes to rest. He's actually a fucking San Francisco crypto bro. Money is literally what makes the world turn. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. A man is sitting at the table wearing mud caked boots and a rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt wields wild pines. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Wake him up. Fuck it. There is only one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. <laughs> wake up! This is an order! I am the law, or no worse, a primordial scream. <laughs> like a like a raptor? Like just like a like a, a giant screech. Why the yelling man? The th oh. <laughs> Why? And the thirty sling man slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. You're alive? Wait, what? No, he was just sleeping. What do you want, officer? That's fucking hilarious. Officer, even after a rude awakening, this dock worker respects the police more than they usually do, at least. Yours? Points at the rum. Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. Why are you sleeping here while the others are out striking? They got it. Mazared's got it. He's guarding the gate. Or just getting some sleep. Or was. The way he says, Measurehead, implies ultimate trust in this head reckoners physical prowess the dead body yeah. what about it you know people die here every day someone's found in a ditch another one falls in a mano a third one gets eaten by stray dogs you know Revishal kind of a shithole if someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? I can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong, but even he has reasons to be cautious here. Hmm. They say your guy was a killer. Your tree man. He has friends. Same as him, colors. There's only one thing they know well. How to wreak havoc. Who says that? Everyone. It's a local rumor. <sighs> you heard what I said. Oh no, let me yawn. Conclusions. Fuck! That's all I know. And I prefer to keep it this way. The lieutenant gives you a little nod. Then makes a note in his blue notebook. So Union people think he was a killer, he thinks. Mm. Even Sleepy Hair. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. Thanks, es Esprit de Corps. We are the workers, the Union. We know what we need. What's right for us. Wait, so there's, yeah, well, there's no leader? Okay. I guess there is also yeah. Evron. Yeah, isn't he? He's a... in charge of the union. We talked about this. He's smart. Knows how to negotiate. He's got our back. You see anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Was it fathomless darkness into which we ought to be deferred like corpses to a mausoleum? The worker stares at you, his eyes dry from sleep. 
A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No corpses. No mausoleums. Mausoleums. quality time. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. You can never return to it now. Only detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. Foxley, despite the headache and the queasiness, you feel like you've got at least a 10 kilometer run in you. The dock worker doesn't answer. I'm actually getting a lot of experience from all this. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, I'm not getting as much as I thought I would actually, never mind. Well, that didn't give me a ton. Let's see. Broken window. Is there a reason why the map only sometimes arrives? Is that like a bug? It says acquire a copy of the city map, but I'm like, they, they had one before. It's weird. Can I ask for a city map from Inside, the core? You see a set of steering levers. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Station 41's Lazarus. It will take just a moment, officer. Her voices fade out into the familiar radio static. <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? Gottlieb? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. In a bad way, Doc. Oh, it's you. <laughs> He's unpleasantly surprised. Was that a snarl or a suppressed groan? No love for you here. You know who I am? Yes, there's no end to the misfortunes fate has seen fit to rain upon me. Can you tell me about myself as in who I am? Who you are? You lost your human visage a while back. Now let's get on with it. I've got more important things to do. Okay, uh, is there anything you can do for me? What? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board? You want another rundown of everything collapsing inside your body? Yes! You want the real, honest to God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium, and vitamin D. Our station is not our retirement home. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. So it's political. You're being neglected because of political reasons. Thanks, Rhetoric. The money is probably going to some old, oily... And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In <laughs> fact, I got work to do. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with cyanoacrylate. It looks like mectosin. What? It's not fucking cryoactylate. It's super glue, Doc. <laughs> with all the damage you've been dealing yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. There is no surprise in his voice. Only careless superiority. What else? I'm not a brain doctor. Look on the bright side. You've got a whole new life now. Use it wisely. That's because you're hung over. Even the radio waves coming from your direction smell like liquor. Oh my god. Do you feel like your eyes are twitching too? Yes. That's the tiny vessels pulsating from high blood pressure, stupid officer. You might be sustaining permanent damage to your vision as we speak. Not much I can do about it. I'm not an eye doctor. It's a busy kind. It's not life threatening, just <sighs> annoying. For you i've got more important things to do here but i've had a heart attack definitely and you survived it congratulations are you mobile sort of but by god does it burn in your chest yes even better anything else oh my god i wouldn't worry about that officers your age have coronary trouble all the time also death is a natural part of life i could i could literally fall into a into a ditch 
and he and he would be happy to put the dirt onto onto me. Accept it. The body is an object, and objects break down. Do what good you can with yours before the rest goes too. <sighs> oh shit! Thirty XP. Let's go. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh. No. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. It's a good amount of XP, though. I'm happy about that. All right. Fuck. Find smokes and smoke them. Hey, bro. You got some smokes? Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's on your mind? Guy smokes on you? Nope. Don't smoke. Some of the other drivers do, though. Yep. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You could also check the kiosk down the street. Frit. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. He's got all so much tattoos on his chest. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. Thanks, man. Nothing. I'm just messing with you, man. Don't mind my idle verbosity. See, besides the fact that this guy is smoking and lying to me, he's the only one I actually really liked. Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Time to arrest him. <laughs> Wicked, I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha, no, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This hollow cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Oh, so Fawn is like their Adidas group or something, it they seems usually like. They shipped to Grad and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. This rockin' beauty. Sure is, like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? Yeah, they're really neat. Neat. For carrying large quantities of cargo a long distance. These Fawn tracksuits need to find their way to the kids way out in Wamrao and Loran Bird somehow. There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long in this lorry. Hmm. We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. There's no denying it. Your body needs to feel the touch of some good performance wear. Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while- The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Empathy. I'm gonna save that check. Can I even get more empathy with my with my goddamn clothes? Oh, the ball! I gotta give a ball to the old men! Oh, <laughs> Hey guys! You're still waiting for a replacement for the bull you sent sinking. I found you guys a new bull! What is this? How are you mocking us? This isn't for Betonk! Oh! Now, now. No need to get angry again, Rene. I'm sure the officer tried his best. It's not like there's a bull kiosk here in Martinez. I did the best I could. The best, huh? This isn't even a bull. But fine. I guess you did attempt to right your hooliganism. Consider it forgiven. Woo! Ah, yes. King Philip III on his steed. A reminder of what Revachel once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine-snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. Oh? Cocaine? cocaine -um? Sounds like our kind of king. And just imagine what kind of cocaine a king would have had. Cocanium! <laughs> a superpower, feared and respected. 
A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. Decisively, without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded among his subjects. This is something the insurgents never understood. Uh, um. A nation is only as strong as its leader. That's why it was such madness to try to... Don't get started on that again. To try to what do revolution, happened? I guess? Happened. Oh, old men. The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. No one and nothing can change this man's mind. He is as rigid as they come, still in that antique uniform. It's a symbol for him. Oh, Holt Philip was a big fan of the purple nose candy the nobility loved so much. <laughs> a cocaine connoisseur of sorts. <laughs> His egocentricity is borderline legendary. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? So, so, so we've got a uh, we've got old man, um, old man who who wishes. We, he had the old, the old, uh, uh, what is it, um, strong, we took authority, president, and then the other old man is like, ah, shut up, basically. And the two of them are bickering in a retirement home. That's why the Philippian so, king so used speak. cocaine, to clarity of vision, to aid in their work. Regnum cocaineum, Ravishal's finest years. I'm satisfied with this explanation. Thank you, electrochemistry. Of course. Clarity of vision. Awareness. Philippe Zitter was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered a dose to his mother when she was in labor. Uh and it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, of course, he was able to connect with higher realms. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. Higher realms. Of course, it all makes sense. Seems like irresponsible behavior for a monarch. From what I've seen of the officers of the RCM... I, uh, but I don't want to get into a debate about drug policies. Okay. Right. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Does it have anything to do with the bullet holes? Yes. It was left by heavy artillery fire. Heavy artillery fire, you say? That's the best kind of artillery fire. <laughs> Very interesting. Why what? Why was he used? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Did you use it? Sadly, no. <laughs> it was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Nice guy. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't, though, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the Suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. I'm slowly piecing together the lore of their, um, revolution. So, obviously, he was an old soldier who fought on the side of the country during the revolution. Uh, but I guess, I'm sorry, they had, quote, mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. Would, did they just have prostitute suicide bombers? Or something? Suicide sex cult propaganda. Good God. Good fucking God. Why shell them here in Martinez? Oh, and yeah. That makes the sense. Commies up first. Oh, the commies, huh? <laughs> yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental deterioration in the preceding generations. Happy 4th. 
Yeah. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. This here is blood ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petanque on their mangled corpses. Oh. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. So the, co the coalition was a foreigner group of uh, outside of Revishal who helped them fight off the revolutionaries, basically. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. He approves of this radical approach. Knows it was necessary. I don't trust Half-Light. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. <laughs> they, they keep Martinez fucking filled with bullet holes and goddamn craters as a monument? To what? Why don't you just put down a monument? Well, a real one. Hunt down fall. You, we, the coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course, they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the. What do you think? Foreign powers cleaned up our mess and now they rule us. Shake your head in shame. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Friselle had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. Listen, listen, I... I don't quite understand what's going on. They are dumping a lot of lore at me right now. Like they, they are throwing a lot of it right now. And it's, it's a little hard to keep track. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all that is just, holy and beautiful in the world was wiped away. And now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. A lot. Damn Frisell. He was the king we couldn't protect. The carabineers failed him and the crown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hyperlay in a very public execution. A true king in both blood and mind led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. The suzerain is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> they forgotten already. Suzerain, okay. Soon, they will forget everything. Him too. Then he chooses anger over melancholy. That actually is kind of sad, in a weird way. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. <laughs> when we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. Composure, legendary. What is it about this old soldier that makes him stand so proud? Minus one, threw the ball into the sea. Plus one, replaced the ball. <laughs> I am curious about the firearm, though. It's a Bell McGrave, 4.46 caliber, breech loading, Revachal made. Good weapon, accurate and reliable. A breech loaded rifle. Okay. This one's inoperable. The bolt spring is missing and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty. Where did you find her? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and let him know. He's an old man. What's he gonna do? I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. As for the rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM446s are an antique. No one uses them anymore. The ammunition is impossible to find. Can I talk to the, the smaller old man? I have really held down myself. This is divine. He takes a bite out of his sandwich. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. Rene, this kid, it's a little pleasures. Life doesn't need to be a, um, a struggle. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. No, officers, I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are both good guys. I can see that. Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. Everyone knows and respects that. Respects? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even any... Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, Rene? I'm not anyone impotent in the union. I just know Evrard. I mm, know Evrard. Everyone in Martinez knows the Claire brothers. I taught this boy's human studies and history in the gymnasium. Ah, you were an old teacher of the, the Union higher-up. What okay. do you know about history? Yeah. You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later, when it had already moved on. You don't know history. The old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Lest we leave riddled with bullet holes, this animosity is ancient. Hey, I'm again inside the harbor? No, I'm sorry, officer. I don't even have a key card. Evrat usually sends someone to get me when he wants to talk. Hmm. Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties, help with little things. Evrat, Edgar, and the older debarders all know me. So he's not. So is he just. Not in the technical sense. Okay. I don't have a vote or a membership card, but Evrard keeps me on the payroll, just for the little things. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. He's a Vezavain. Turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important. I hate the socialist rabble, but even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence. Never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written, and I happen to have a way with words, people say. Oh, so he's like a script writer. He's like, he's like a speech writer or something. Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez and how things are and how they could be. Evart and I have this long talks where... Or propaganda writer? Well, he tells his little penman exactly what to say. Okay. It's coming propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, thank you. For being consummate professionals. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. Can I have a bite of the sandwich? I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. Damn it! Nothing personal is just a principle. The only one you have. Suddenly you realize how hungry you are. The last time you ate must have been God knows when. 
Please, man, guys, have a bite. Believe me, officer. I wish I could help you, but I need this sandwich to keep my blood sugar stable. In my age, you need to pay attention to these things. You can barely hear him. The sweet smell of pickles in harmony with garlic butter and marinated onions emanating from the sandwich is driving your mind in a singular direction. It must be yours. Fuck off! It's mine! <laughs> sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it in a bad way. But the sandwich is mine. I'm not gonna share it. When the dissidents come to rape our country, he hides. But try to get a bite of his dear sandwich and he gets claws? We are a special kind of vermin, Gaston. Holy shit. Convince him to relinquish his sandwich. 3%. There are so many checks in this game, but one of the lowest percentage checks I have found in the entire game is to convince an old man to give me his sandwich. I, I I'm I'm so happy with that. I know it's I know it's based on very certain uh things, but still, like goddamn man, that's so funny. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't give me my sandwich either. That that sounds like a terrible idea. <sighs> okay. Broken window. Easy. And then the monument medium. The map is, is not showing properly, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go to the monuments and see about that task. I'm just kind of doing whatever I can, honestly. Just running around, seeing what's up. Seeing what's down, what's sideways, etc. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, Oof. pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it. Okay, encyclopedia. Do I have anything that can help me with that? No, I really don't. Hmm. Oh, uh, Weewa, Pucalicus, Leet Wheat's Secret Agent Cheeseburger, Augustus and Toxic Hobo, thank you all very much for your subs, your prime subs, and all the other things that involve money. I love money. It's my favorite. Okay, so I have a couple tasks that involve um, time. This one's Wednesday. This is 2100. This is 2200. We're at, what was it, 18? 1850 right now. Track down your badge is the is the the thing up there. Ask oh pay ask your station for additional funds. I did not notice I could do that. Okay, um, I guess we will try to ask the station for money. That is not a good idea. It is not going to work out. They are going to tell me to fuck off. I am more than I, I am I am fully prepared for it. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox. This is precinct 50, just a moment. Ten four, come in, officer. Over. I'm in dire need of financial assistance. Ten four, I hear you. I don't have the authority to rent your request, but what does he want now? Oh uh, shit. He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. All right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. It's paramount. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. 
Request denied, sir. Over. Nothing is working. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> he says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Uh, Vicmar said. Who cares what this Vicmar said? Pull on their heartstrings. Enough, officer. This begging is below your dignity. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. <laughs> Please come and get me. Anything else, sir? Over. Uh, personal details like to discuss. Uh, okay, 10 4, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. I need information, not fear. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. 10 4, sir. I'm not hearing your question. This is confidential. That's a negative, sir. I got a 10 12 here. Over. Badge description? What? What is it? He's still on the line? Uh. He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen. High General of the Revachoian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. Oh. What do you need, sir? Over. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. The 9 repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Say name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Please. Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. <laughs> oh, man. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. D I'm not Dick Mullen. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. <sighs> Ten. Um, excuse me, sir. Over. My family? You probably don't want to continue on this road. No, I must know. Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed things weren't that good on that front. Over. Oh. Uh. There's a lot of foreshadowing with my family going on right now. This game has been hitting me really hard with the foreshadowing. Then for well, that's uh... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop wasting time and be a goddamn policeman for a change. Sir, Satellite Officer Vikmar says... Yeah, I heard him. So, um, was there anything else? Understood, sir. Over. I lost my gun. Then for I know I already wrote it in a report, but... Uh, it will stay on my desk for a few days. Over. Roger that. 10-10. Ten, ten, over and out. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Pudier, around a dozen cops. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean, near the entrance. I don't... Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Max right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was... Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Her neatly polished black shoes. There is a quiet firmness in her voice and she yeah. speaks. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice? He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Start fidgeting uncomfortably. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? 
I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold up the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. So much foreshadowing. So much foreshadowing for the reason why I'm a wreck. I can level up again! Do we try for the jump? You know what? I have an idea. This- this might be a bit of, um... This might be a little bit of, like, metagaming, I suppose, but... I, I mean, it's not D&D, so who gives a shit? I'm gonna go try to make the jump, and if I fail, I'll put a point into the thing, Savo Fair or whatever, and then get another chance to make the jump again. Which means that I will have- I'll have like, even though the percentage is still low, it's still like, you know, a percentage, a chance still. So like, like it, it's like, hey, if it's 28% and then it's 48%, it's way better than a single 48%. So you might as well. Uh, though I am going to need to take off my shoes, uh, because they lower my- my thing. And if I'm not mistaken, none of these lowered either. Okay, we should be good here. I guess there's drugs I couldn't take maybe for this, but we'll try it. A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the railing. No one has claimed it for their own. Ow. Nope, no. That's still too hard. Sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you almost strained a muscle there. All right, we'll try it again. A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the railing. No one has claimed it for their own. Fuck. Fuck. It's like, uh, for, uh, 20 something percent plus 42 percent, uh, I think technically means that I had over a 50 percent chance to get it with both attempts, um, overall with the uh, percentage wise, but that's still a coin flip, so it's, it's, uh, it's all right. Thing, the problem is, is that I don't know when I can retry it again, because I actually can't put any more points in, in this. I've got both points. So, I don't know how I would be able to try again. Unless there's a different way to, to like, do it. Hmm. There will always be ways. All right, I'll, I guess I'll I'll keep looking and learning. Close for winter. Please use main entrance. All right. I'm kind of curious. Did I get any more uh, cans? The tear machines. Your bottles clunk. Oh, I did. Sick. What was? What were the drugs A I had here? The cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, That's nasal health. sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Thanks. I do need a bit of HP, so. A colorful dis. Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. Physique, morale, physique, morale. 
under the counter vices. No, Fritz only sells legal drugs, like the law says. Um, the pale aged vodka is special. Sure. So, are you gonna buy? Here you go, Mister. I'm gonna smoke my goddamn cigarettes. I'm gonna smoke my goddamn cigarette. Everyone in this goddamn country seems like they smoke like a chimney anyway, so I don't give a shit. There it is. A brave little army in your pocket. The first smokes platoon. Twenty brave souls standing in salute, ready to step into fire for you, sir. You know, it's a task. It's a task. It probably gives me XP by doing it. Fuck it. You picked the best one. This soldier is fat and succulent. What are you waiting for? Light up. Re-become yourself. I, I'm... I'm I have a feeling that not all tasks need to be complete or are in fact even good for my character. However, I'm just curious anyway, so I'm gonna do it regardless. Oh yes, Bratan! <laughs> Please light up! You need a trooper between your lips right now! Calm your shit down! Go to Pleasure Land! Become a genius! Get a load of this rock and roll cop hair, people. Johnny Thundercop. Fishes a cheap light at Johnny out of his Thundercop. Pants. With a flick of the thumb, there's fire. A primal satisfaction. Here we go. What are the repercussions if I do this? Repercussions? There's a high risk of glory with a mild chance, cool genius. Smoking makes you into an intellectual. Oh. Everybody knows that. Oh my god, this hurts. It will help you concentrate a bit. That much is true. Thanks, Logic. It only lets you concentrate because you're in nicotine withdrawal. It only mitigates its own. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. Light it up. Thick, warm smoke gets sucked down into your lungs. Immediately, you feel a warm nostalgia fill your head, body, and soul. That's a lot of XP. A nostalgia for yourself. The man you were in your youth. Johnny Thundercop is back. And he's chill as balls. <laughs> in the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a cigarettes button. Cigarettes gives plus one to intellect skills. Logic, rhetoric, conceptualization, visual calculus, encyclopedia, and drama. This is good before a white check, but damages your health. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So this this helps my okay, yeah. Okay, so this is actually a genuine a genuine mechanic in the game to use before a white check. Fascinating. the dead body is done where is the rest of the armor ask kuno where uh, i'll ask the fucking kid where the rest of the armor is god damn it god i hate this child fuck does kuno care body shitload pig don't tell the pig shit kuno if i were to want to waste my time which I do not. I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. <laughs> Just ask whatever comes to mind. Where's the rest of his armor? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? Kuno's fuck has got one big thing wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. What? Look at him. Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. Okay, if the, man, if the man's taking bathtub trend, I mean, the man's taking bathtub trend, like, you know, whatever. If he's, if, if, the, if there's a fake natty hanging from the tree, then who gives a fuck, but. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. So it's obviously way too big. Oh, come on. He's just pretending that he doesn't care because he's too small for the armor. Yeah, a typical child. Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. 
Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That oh. shit means nothing to Kuno. It's in the sea. Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustache union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gate. Oh. Yeah, cock in boot. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. So yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep of Kuro's armor. Go to the gate. Ask him yourself. Wow, an actually helpful thing from this awful child. Yes, this troubadour has it. You can feel it. There are contusions all over the body. Did you do that? What are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're stupid. Oh, get the fuck out of here, calling Kuno stupid. Pigs come to Kuno for guidance, then say he's stupid. The fuck is up with that? <laughs> They're lost without you, Kuno. They need you. You're in control of this. Why don't you figure your shit out yourself before you come to Detective Kuno for help? Hmm. Maybe we should. Thanks. Your test to get lost. F Kuno does. What's that meme where it's like, um, what's up with this like sassy lost child? You know what? You know what I'm talking about? That one. That's that's the vibe I, I've got for the most part. Okay, I think we should talk to the guy at the gate and maybe call it for today. Because that actually is a good lead. Hey, big boy. Wait, is it you or is it this, this guy? Right to work! Back again, eh? Here to show the militia support for our cause? Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. I think I got the wrong guy. Wait. I think I got the wrong guy. Wait, tasks. Uh, go to the harbor at gates, ask the jolly mesk about the armor. That's the scab leader. Oh, this guy's the jolly guy. Yeah. Why did he say glasses? Did I hear him say glasses? Or am I imagining that? Well, I'm wondering, man. He's not got How glasses on. You? Ah, never mind. Screw it. <laughs> the little boy had the good on his promise. To get me into trouble. To sick the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words. Not mine. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official union probe, you know. Track it down, see who took it. Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know? So I went to this boy. He said he'll make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere, the cops in his pocket, and he's the king of Jamrock. <laughs> Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there, and it still got me into trouble. One bad move is all it takes. I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. What else? Not much. Technical stuff, mostly. That was the interesting part. I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. I didn't get into the material science, just how it comes off. Hmm. How does it come off? In parts. Four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. I believe him. I believe him too. The boots were still on the guy last I saw. Too hard to remove. So, as I count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Yeah, what about the, the legs? Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. I'm ambitious. All of it. There are junior officers out there eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them. 
and I would leave the goods to processing, but okay. Let's find all of it. What if I can wear it? And Mesky's epic then, all across Martinez. I hope it will be a real bonanza for you. It's a minor nuisance. It's all good. He thinks, not yet. Better to get this business out of the way. No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. He is sincerely grateful. He is not tracking down pieces of armor right now. <laughs> okay. Get the hangman's boots. Take yourself out in a full metal battle hard and glory. No, this might take a while, like a long while. I enjoy the explanations the game gives me where it's like, hey ma'am, this might take some time. So, you know, don't worry too much about it. And this one's like, hey ma'am, this is one of those things that might take you like, I don't know, 20 hours. So just like fucking forget about it. I gotta be honest though, I am kind of curious about getting all the armor and, and quote, decking myself up in my battle hardened glory. If he kicked it into the sea, I wonder if there's a. Hey, hey, old man. Oh, never mind. Can I, like. I want to know if there's a way to retrieve things from the sea. Ah, uh, what if we get the lady on the boat to help? Or what if we try to look at it through the looking glass? This coin operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot, a thick layer of graffito cut under the graf The chest looks old and withered. Oh, right. I forgot that one doesn't work. Maybe I can find it with the thing. This thing. this coin of your money disappears into the coin slot. A clunk. The ring of metal. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry. Different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape. Like a ghost. The lenses shift. The ghost sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if mm. it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. Its leaves ripped from it by the winter wind. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. The little brave birch tree seems to wave back in the wind. A little brave birch tree. I genuinely want to know if I could find the helmet in the docks. Though I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, and I can't talk to the lady really unless I help with her drug friends or go, uh... Or go handle that other situation. Shit. I damn it, this this bug is aggravating. I don't I don't know where the broken window is. I'd like to I like to do the easy visual calculus on the broken window, but I, I can't because I don't know where it is. Because the map is screwed up. Oh, it's the one in my hotel room? Ah, okay, I'll do that then. Oh shit, it's getting busy in here. Why can't I just sing? All right. stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break them with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Oh, did I throw something? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy, 
and larger than your fist. The shoe you found on the balcony fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Uh, maybe it wasn't me? You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window <laughs> with it. And maybe, just maybe, you succeeded. We'll never know. Or maybe you were trying to smash your own reflection in the window pane. Task completed. Let's go. Five XP. What a, what a, what a way to end that.